seven double two double three double four. Morgan is a Chelsea fan. Hello, Morgan. How are you guys? You're right. Morgan, have you got any tattoos? Uh, no, I haven't actually. How old are you? I don't, I don't really. Ca- I don't really carry the physique for tattoos. You, if I'm honest with you. You don't need wait, a physique. Wait, How wait, old? You don't have a special physique to have them. How old are you, Morgan? <laughs> yeah, I'm 25. Have you thought about having one? I have, if I'm honest with you. But to be honest, I think my, my other half would probably kill me. OK, what, what's the minimum amount of money you would need to take from us to get a talk sport tattoo, a logo on your arm? I don't know, to be fair. Would you do it for a grand? A grand? I'd say that I said a grand. Well, you'd do it for a grand, know, would you? What are you doing tomorrow? Is that cheap? Is it a grand cheap? Well, it's too late now. You've, you're locked in. I You've sold yourself. Know, I was going to go to ten, Morgan. <laughs> Okay, you would have gone to ten. All right, well, no, tomorrow I'm, I'm at work tomorrow, but I can make myself free. Would you really have a TalkSport logo tattoo for a grand on your arm? Well, listen, if you if, if you know me and if you know people, my girlfriend hates being in this car because I don't play music or anything like that. I'm, I'm a TalkSport man through and through. And my mates will know that as well, and they'll be laughing if they're listening to this. Well, that sounds like, what a good lad you are. Okay, I might even do it for free then. Right, go on then, go on, Morgan. Well, you phone, you're a Chelsea fan. You phoned up to talk about your yeah. number nine scenario. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I think we we do need one. Um, definitely, I think when you look at teams of Chelsea in the past, like uh, historically, when we have really, you know, been a serious threat in all competitions, we've had like a Drogba, um, obviously consistent for us. And then we went through that phase of not being able to replace him got Costa eventually who also performed again you know we won a Premier League won a couple more trophies and I just feel like the team now with Tuchel if we can get a Lukaku or a Halat, I honestly think that's then the, mm. that springboard moment you know where we're going to be right right up there we well, got all bases covered then haven't you um, so yeah, exactly. I, I, I think you're right I, I, I think defensively I think he's, he's proved Danny Tuchel but he is organised and the team is yeah. because people are saying the defenders are not good enough but he seemed to get a tune out of them over the season yeah. midfield pretty strong speaks for itself there's so many different options there with the full back areas as well but it's the one area isn't it where we're not quite sure we know Averts is he better as a number 10 you got Werner who had so many chances last year and didn't put them away yeah, but the positive the positive though he had he does get a lot of chances. So if you do get an out-and-out goal scorer, can you imagine if he would have had those chances um, last season, Lukaku or Haaland, how many goals they would have yeah. got? Well, look, that, that, that's what I've said to people before as well. That, that's why if, if, let's say, we weren't to get anyone and we weren't to get a number nine, as much as I'd be a bit like, oh, you know, I'd have loved to have, to have made a big marquee signing, I wouldn't be too disappointed. Because if Werner can just find a little bit more intelligence, stay on side a bit more, be a little bit, you know, sharper with his touches and that. He's got the potential alongside Havertz between them, you know, 15, 20 goals, let's say, all competitions, easily. And if they're finding their, you know, their shooting booth, I still feel we might have enough. But I would prefer us to have the safety of a, of a number nine mm-hmm. as well, just in case. I get that. Do you need the number nine to win the league? Can you do it without one? Um... Yeah, I fancy us. We, I reckon we'll be definitely, definitely up there. I think the team that finishes above us will win it. Put it that way. Blimey. It's a so big coming statement. Second, then. It's a big statement, Morgan, that is. <laughs> he coming second, yeah. Uh, all right, listen, thanks for, thanks for your call. Thanks for listening to Talk Sport at the time. That's really kind of you, Morgan. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers Morgan. Thank yeah, you. there you go. Morgan, a Chelsea fan. We'll have a Talk Sport tattoo for £1,000. From his boy, I'll do it for 500 is, is that what Ross. someone said? It's getting lower. Undercut him. It's meant to go up, isn't it? <laughs> undercut him. It's a sign of the times we're getting undercut. Do you know, someone's going to do it for free. We know that. We know. We can't, we're not doing that competition. I should point that out, but it's interesting to know what you do it for. You're listening to Drive on TalkSport with WeBarneyCar.com. Find out how much your car's worth in 60 seconds, leaving more time for you to enjoy the football.